We're going to demonstrate the process for donning and doffing personal protective equipment, otherwise termed PPE, for persons who are under investigation for COVID-19. Supplies that you'll need are your isolation gown, your gloves that fit appropriately, an N95 mask, and a face shield or eye goggles. We're going to use the face shield in today's demonstration. Make sure that you have a trash can readily available and alcohol gel readily available for the doffing process. Notice that she has no jewelry or bracelet or watch, uh, no earrings, and her hair is appropriately pulled back. When donning, you're going to put the isolation gown on. The isolation gowns used at UAMS have thumb holes for your thumb to go in. That helps prevent the gown from sliding up um, as you put the gloves on. She is tying in the back. The rationale for tying in the back and never in the front, the front is an area of potential for contamination. If you contaminated the tie in the front, break the tie, it falls to the back and you've contaminated yourself. If you gather your, your sleeve in your fist and put your hand in your glove, you can slide it over and get a better distance from the point of potential for contamination to the back end of, to the back of your skin. Once you have your gown and gloves on, adjust your shoulder first to make sure that you're fully covered in the front. You'll notice appropriately covered in the back with the gown tied in the back. You'll wear the N95 that you have been fit tested toward. You will not wear an N95 or any other mask that has not been validated to fit you through our occupational health and safety. Make sure that you get a tight seal, pinch the binder down around your face, make sure that as you breathe in and out, there are no openings that would contaminate through an unsealed area. When you put the face shield on, make sure that the foam part of our face shield goes just above the eyebrow. That gives you the most coverage to the front and sides of your face. You'll notice that all of her mucous membranes are covered uh, eyes, nose, and mouth. Now we're going to demonstrate doffing of the personal protective equipment. Clean your gloves with alcohol gel. Typically you will be told not to clean your gloves with alcohol. In this case we're trying to reduce the bio burden that could potentially be on the gloves. So we're going to clean with alcohol and let it dry. When you get ready to doff, areas of potential for contamination are around the neckline and around the gloves. We're going to demonstrate how to remove it safely without contaminating yourself. If you put your hands at your chest, keep your hands two inches away from your neckline. Gather at the front, pull straight forward and snap the neck. In that process pulling down, you're going to roll your hands toward the outside. So you're rolling the dirty side under, and you'll notice at this point you cannot see her gloves. Gathered at the waist, still not seeing the gloves, pull straight forward and snap the waist. Hold in one hand and remove the other arm just to the point of glove resistance. If we can see your glove at this point, that's a potential for contamination. Hold with the other hand, clean side to clean side. Invert the other sleeve just to the point of glove resistance. Now take your clean thumb to the inside on the palm side. Push free and clear. Clean hand to the skin side of the glove. Push free and clear. And you can have removed your gown and glove safely. Clean your hands with alcohol gel at this point. Remembering the palms of your hands the backs of your hands, 
in between your fingers and your fingernails and fingertips as she's demonstrated. Go to your wrist and rub around your wrist as well. Allow this to air dry. Once your hands have air dried, you're going to reach up behind your head and grab the band of your face shield, remove and drop in the trash. You'll notice we're dropping in regular trash, not biohazard. Clean your hands again. When removing the N95 mask, you always remove the lower strap first and the upper strap last. That prevents the mask from flipping forward onto your skin. After it's air dried, you're going to reach to the lower band of your face mask. Pull up over and clear. Then you're going to reach the upper band. Pull up and over and clear without flopping your mask and then just drop in the trash and clean your hands. In any procedure, after you have doffed your personal protective equipment, you should always clean your hands at the first point of availability and then proceed to a sink to wash your hands with soap and water.